Dragi posetioci Benchmark, vjerojatno ste da sada navikli da vas ponekad povedemo makar ovako putem video izveštaja na neko novo i zanimljivo mesto. Ovoga puta smo u švajcarskom gradu Schaffhausen, u mesto od oko 80.000 stanovnika, a koji je onima koji su gledali Balkan Express ili su ljubitelji satova, vjerojatno poznat pod čuvenim IVM Schaffhausen ručnim časovicima. Pored njih tu je i ekskluzivni Mauser, čiji smo fabriku bili u prilici da posetimo i vidimo kako se prave pravi mehanički časovnici bez baterije, a od kojih najjeftiniji košta oko 30 Apple Watcheva. Inače, gradić je kao iz bajke okiće novogodišnjom dekoracijom sa vrlo specifičnom arhitekturom, a u blizini se nalazi i Rheinfall, najveći vodopad u Evropi. Razlog zašto smo ovde je konferencija pod nazivom Insights in Technology, a koju organizuje Schaffhausen Institute of Technology. Ovo obrazovna ustanova je novo ime na svetskoj akademskoj sceni, a osnovana je između ostalog i investicijom kompanija Kronis i njenog osnivača, doktora Sergeja Belusova. Šta to novo treba da donese SIT kao i puno zanimljivih predavanja na temu nauke i tehnologije i njihove međusobno veze, imali smo prilike da čujemo u seriji predavanja u kojima su učestvovali članovi SIT-a, među kojima su i jedan laurelat Nobelove nagrade za fiziku, šef IBM istraživačkog tima za nauku i tehnologiju i renomirani profesori iz domena softverskog inženjeringa, cyber sigurnosti i drugih oblasti. U bordu savjetnika su još jedan Nobelovac i profesori sa Harvard, MIT i Oxford univerziteta, kao i Carnegie Mellon i univerziteta u Singapuru, čiji će master diplome studenti takođe dobijati dok se ne uspostavi kompletna infrastruktura u Schaffhausen. Teme koje je obrađivala konferencija tiču se fizike, softvera i digitalne transformacije biznisa, što su u jednoj tri oblasti koje su fokus nastavnog programa univerziteta. Više o Schaffhausen institutu za tehnologiju imali smo prilike da čujemo od jednog od osnivača i prvog čoveka Kronisa, Sergeja Belusova i podpredsjednika univerziteta Dimitrija Kondratijova. Yes, I think uh, as a scientist I was blessed to be able to learn science in a very deep fashion and so I have relatively good understanding of mathematics, computer science, software engineering, uh, physics and a relatively good uh, understanding of how the scientists operate. Uh, but because all of my career, all of the last 28 years, I'm involved in building uh, technology businesses, I also have a um, unique experience with marketing, with business development, with uh, sales, with organization, with KPIs. And so I think you can uh, make an uh, interesting and sort of more um, advanced way of uh, inserting knowledge into human brains than uh, traditional education. But at the end of the day, uh, we are not focused on changing things, we are focused on making things better. And sometimes making things better may just be about uh, being excellent and executing excellent. Sometimes in our case is to um, be interdisciplinary um, and um, focused on the right area of research, which is uh, uh, more likely than not produce some basic research with uh, applied uh, quality. So uh, there is about multi-trillion dollar market. I don't have the figures that say, I don't know, three trillion, five trillion dollar market, which is uh, money which is spent on science. So when you spend money on science, you have to understand that you spend it on three things. You spend on sort of basic infrastructure, like buildings, electricity, water, uh, communication. You spend it on equipment and you spend it on people. And um, these people ultimately, they do some tasks. So they um, spend some hours in an effective way and some hours in ineffective way. And this equipment is utilized in some way and sometimes it's utilized effectively and it's not. And this basic infrastructure is utilized in a certain way. And the way the uh, science and research um, uh, ecosystem is structured, in my opinion, it can be made more efficient. Now you need science in many very simple uh, places like agriculture, for example, or like uh, packaging or like watchmaking or like cars or like uh, managing the city. And, and you can do the required science uh, in the university system of today, but it may not necessarily be as efficient, as predictable, as cost effective. And so it's, a, it's an interesting area where you can potentially be 
better and produce better results. We believe there is a lot of demand for it and we will try to exploit it. It's not a new concept. Effectively, this is what private universities in UK and US are doing for many years. In Acronis, we can expect only opening new engineering and sales locations. The world is very large and there is a lot of places and we believe that our um, mission is to deliver uh, cyber protection to the people in the way they can control it. And so we need to have a lot of places where we are both from the standpoint of uh, infrastructure and from the standpoint of uh, sales and engineering resources. It also means that we will um, do acquisitions, and so you will see some acquisitions. And of course, it means that we will hire more people, primarily in engineering and technology people, to produce better products. Uh, we believe that, uh, in general, evil is due to insufficient knowledge, but uh, we also believe that uh, the main thing as a technology company we need to do is to build new products, and for that we need more qualified people. Yeah, that's true. So we want to be very different from other universities and that's one of our goals. Um, the idea is that we will help students to learn in a more effective way than rather just sitting in lectures and writing down what the teacher says. So uh, our idea is that our students would learn through platform which will help them to get their knowledge uh, faster better and competitive manner. Uh, but still, they have, it will be a blend learning notification and uh, they will have uh, direct access to our faculty, their teachers, mentors of their projects, and uh, so we want to use more kind of learning by doing approach rather than giving them just theoretical knowledge. And uh, so, answering your questions regarding what kind of students we are aiming to solve those are definitely top talented students which we want to either after graduation to go to industry but having a leader leading roles there and most mostly in technology but also in business and uh, even company in art and in some future um, at the same time, we are looking to educate people who can become researchers and scientists. And that's, that's our goal. Regarding so specific results who goes to industry after graduation, we are actually starting designing our programs not from professors and not from academic side. We are starting with asking companies what are the requirements, what do they need, what do graduates need, what knowledge graduates need to actually be useful and instrumental at the company from the first day when they are And that is a real competitive advantage for them. Regarding SAT campus, we are exploring different opportunities in Canton Schaffhausen and it will be just the main campus, mostly focused on research and uh, kind of creating that educational content and platform. And uh, so one of the options is just on the waterfall. I'm not sure if you have been there, yes. <laughs> so you might saw that uh, a bit crappy buildings, which was used for manufacturing before and so you know, as the economy and also in Schaffhausen is changing from the industrial age to a digital era. Those also should be converted to something which is suitable for industry of the future. Uh, for regarding collaborations with other countries and uh, you specifically mentioned satellite campuses, uh, we look differently on this. So there are some countries which just want us to establish a new independent campus uh, and there are countries who want us more to get into collaboration with their existing universities so we can help them to improve their 
curriculum and programs, and specifically for Bulgaria, for example, we are talking with um, Sofia Technical University and Sofia State, uh, specifically with the Department of uh, Informatics and uh, Mathematics. Uh, so we we implement our courses into that. So we will integrate our cons courses into their curriculum, most probably, and that would be a kind of cooperation. don't have a specific timeline for mm -hmm. this yet, so you know, we just started and we are figuring out where we can start moving faster or not. Specifically, Bulgaria is kind of a, our top priority because of Konis being our main partner um, at this stage of the development and the Konis is their biggest R&D center now in Bulgaria, which is growing fast uh, in terms of number of people. So. Our motto will be knowledge through science. So first, what we are building is actually science, and we already have two research groups working, started there in Schaffau, here in Schaffhausen, and then we will develop our educational part. So in terms of kind of what will be our focus, it's hard to answer immediately, because so both things are needed for a full-fledged university. So ISIS university cannot survive without being, so it's not a university without students even. And of course science is very important uh, so for many reasons. One of those is university rankings, which are based on science, and we want to become one of top 50 universities in nearby future. And um, so another reason that actually the best education you can get just from the top scientists. So that's another reason why we start with science. But also education is important because there is, so we don't want to have just researchers and scientists produced by our um, institution, but also we want to fuel the economy with uh, talents which is needed for faster development. There are several dimensions, so what we can do for companies. First of all, we can do research, which is um, so related to what companies are doing and what they need. So mostly some research, which will help those companies to develop new, better products in future. And the other uh, direction is, of course, education, which I already mentioned, so where we can actually use graduates with a perfect fit to industry. Bilo bi sve iz Schaffhausena i sa Insights in Technology konferencije, a ukoliko vas zanima više o SIT-u, više informacije možete pronaći na www.sit.org.